know, a lazy man. Hi, people. So, um, so I recently posted a video where I was in a shop and basically they made me leave my dog outside, which usually I will not do that. I have a lot of access issues, but generally I will stand and fight my case and they will eventually just let me continue doing whatever it is I need to do. On this occasion, they were not going to give in. And thankfully, I had someone there who actually could hold Marley outside. Um, and then I posted the video on our Facebook group for people with assistance. <laughs> Marley's distracting me. For people with assistance dogs. And basically, they all said, you have to go to the police. Which, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't do like, mentioning like, it's a daily occurrence, screw it. But this time, like I said, he was not giving in. He made me leave my dog outside. And while I was in the shop, after leaving my dog outside... He continued to swear at me, non-stop, just swear, 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 blah de blah fuck off, go next door, bug it off, blah de blah And like, I was trying to explain the law to him as well. Even after I'd left my dog outside, I continued to try to explain the law just so he would know for future, for other people that go into that stop, that might have an assistance dog. He wasn't having any of it, so I ended up going to the police. Um, and then when I went to the police station, like, the police were fine, they were helpful and everything. Um... Apparently they only needed me to go to the station, so basically they can, could confirm Marley was real. <laughs> um, but then, a few hours after that, I went into a little supermarket where the manager said, No, your dog's not allowed. And I, like, I thought it was a new member of staff. Like, I was like, no, I come here all the time, the staff know us, he's an assistance dog, blah de blah And she was like, no, but I'm the manager, you're... Jesus Christ, hang on. <laughs> this light is too dang bright. doing my nothing right yeah so she was like yeah i'm the manager and all assistance dogs wear the same official jacket and i was like what no they don't <laughs> it was like they all have different vests and she was like no blah 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 and i was like yeah actually i know what i'm talking about so basically i was explaining everything to her same as i tried to do with the other guy um and then i sent an email to their head office um and basically i explained the law to them I explained everything i explained to her and i told them where they could go look up the law and they replied to me saying, yeah, we, they were like, yeah, well, you have a good understanding of the law. Um, yes, she was wrong, blah, blah, blah. They were like, this is our policy. And they sent me a copy of the policy and it basically said everything that I'd said to the manager was in their policy. <laughs> like, it was already in their policy, but apparently she wasn't aware of it. Um, so then, in the email that I got back from them, they said they were going to give me a £10 voucher as an apology. And they said it would be here within 72 hours. It's been long over 72 hours. No voucher. So, yeah, that's a bit rude. <laughs> like, I don't care. Like, I didn't do it for the voucher. I did it because I wanted to shop in peace. So, like, I'm not even going to ask them about the voucher. Like, my boyfriend was like, oh, well, why don't you chase them up? Send them a message and be like, where's my voucher? I don't care. I don't want a voucher. Never wanted a voucher. I want to shop in peace. As long as I can go in there and shop in peace, I'm happy. However, I think it's a bit fucking rude to say they're going to give someone a voucher and then not do it like why why say that like why don't just be like sorry this happened it won't happen again leave it at that why say they're going to do something and not do it that light is doing my nothing <laughs> yeah anyway so that's basically all i want to say um yeah that's it <laughs>